Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna just do a quick update to let you know where I am. I am on cycle day 23. Um, I still have not got a positive OPK or high on my fertility monitor. Um, I have been extremely slacking the past couple of days on my um, temperature taking as well. I've been having a very rough couple of days. Um, I've been feeling very down and stuff and um, there's been some stuff that's not even really big things um, but they've all just kind of got me down so as you all um, may know mm, yeah you may know and um, I currently don't have a job and um, Robert is the only one that's working and the last two months I've been actively trying to get a job and I've been on three interviews with three se separate companies and um, Unfortunately, each time I didn't get those jobs. Um, I spoke to a number of uh, recruitment agencies about the jobs that they have, and I, I'm being put forward for it. But because my CV has a two year gap, um, or my, my resume is, you might say, in America, has a two year gap, um, it's just hard to try and get myself into an interview. Um, I worked in HR previously, um, five years before I was unemployed. Um, so I, I want to get a job in the HR um, sector because obviously that's what I know. And if not, I kind of just want to get a general admin or reception type job. But the market in Ireland is only starting to open back up now. So there is more jobs available. But again, there's still a high amount of people that are applying for those jobs. So that's like one thing that's kind of weighing on us a lot because we just have Robert's salary and um, our rent here is quite high. And obviously we have other like car insurance. Robert has a motorbike insurance, car tax every year. And all of those insurance and taxes in Ireland are extremely high. So it is quite stressful. Um, because obviously I'm not adding any income into the family. Um, the other thing that's kind of stressing me out is the fact that our dog has been sick for a while. Um, we have, for about two months, um, we have been bringing her to the vet. Um, it started, she had this lump in her paw that looked like it was infected and she got treatment for that and it's eventually gone away. Um, but what we've noticed is she has a very bad itch on the top of her back. Um, where If you scratch her back at all, she goes into this like little bundle on the ground. It's not like it's pain in her because she wants you to scratch it. It's just like a really bad itch. Um, so we've been having some issues with that. And because we live in an apartment, we don't have our dog here. It's in Robert's mom's house. And obviously they, they're around the dog the most. So we have to rely on them for information. Um, so seemingly now we have changed the dog's diet. It is on a diet for just like some sort of skin disease that the vet wants to try for three months. Um, and the dog, the food costs is 70 euro a month. And um, Robert's, family are saying that um the dog has been worse since we changed the food and all this sort of stuff and it's just it's kind of it's not even a big deal like when, I, when now that I'm saying it and when I when I think about it it's not a big deal at all that they're saying this like they're around the dog the most like they would know um but it's really stressing me out because it's kind of coming across that the way they're saying it is that we're not looking after the dog like we're just ignoring the fact that she has this massive itch and we're just ignoring it and that's obviously not what we're doing we are bringing the dog to the vet we she's been to the vet every week for the last eight weeks and so we are trying our best to try and do something but obviously it's just not enough right now because we don't know what's wrong with her Anyway, so that's another stressful thing. And then the third stressful thing is since I've been at my um, appointment last week um, with the fertility clinic, I've been feeling extremely down. I'd nearly say I was depressed um, because everything's just kind of weighing on me. Um, I just, I don't know, I walked out of that meeting last week and I just felt extremely down and that things aren't moving too fast and I kind of have it in my head that it's not going to happen and 
And I know that's silly because it probably will happen and I have changed my diet this week and we have, myself and Robert have been exercising so he's doing everything he can to try and motivate, motivate me to go out in the evenings and um, yeah, so there's just a number of things that are just getting me down so I'm not in the best of moods um, and I suppose that was just a little life update too um, because I don't really talk about my personal life as such. Um, it's mainly just TTC type things, um, but I thought I'd just share. If I was a daily vlogger, I would have told you about this, but um, because I just do three or four vlog or three or four videos a week, I thought, hey, I may as well just let everybody know exactly what's happening. Um, so yeah, it's just those pressures and stress factors that most people have in their life um it's just everything is happening on top of us and yeah so anyways i'm just going to show you my chart i bear again that i didn't take my temperature this morning and um the fertility monitor is still showing high which is it's just really annoying me now So yeah, um, anyways girls, I hope this weekend improves. We have a, a bank holiday or a long weekend this um, this week, which is great. So Robert doesn't have to go back to work till Tuesday. And um, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I really wanted to go and do something. Um, I actually might go to the zoo. I haven't been to the zoo in a long time, so I want to go. Because there's new elephants and like cubs and all that sort of stuff in our zoo. Um, like baby one so yeah i want to go see that but anyways um thank you so much for watching if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you're new don't forget to just to subscribe and um, i will talk to you guys on monday with another ttc update or maybe tuesday this week i don't really like recording when robert's here um but i you never know i might record something quick on monday anyways girls um have a great weekend and i'll talk to you very very soon bye